Nina Pham, the first person to contract Ebola on the United States soil, thanked the prayers she received from all over the world and a blood transfusion from Dr. Kent Brantley the American doctor who caught the disease in Liberia as she was released from hospital on Friday, 12 days after being diagnosed with the virus. After being released from the National Institutes of Health Clinical Center in Bethesda, Maryland, and fronting a press conference, the Dallas nurse was transported straight to the White House for a meeting with President Obama. White House Press Secretary Josh Ernest told The New York Times that Obama requested a meeting with Miss Pham when she heard she was about to be discharged. The president warmly greeted the health worker with a hug. I feel fortunate and blessed to be standing here today, the 26-year-old told reporters at the press conference. I would first and foremost like to thank God, my family, and friends. I would especially like to thank Dr. Kent Brantley for his selfless act of donating plasma to me. I believe in the power of prayer, because I know so many people all over the world have been praying for me. Although I no longer have Ebola, I know it may be a while before I have my strength back. At the press conference today, Miss Pham said she was eager to be reunited with her dog, Bentley, who was quarantined following his owner's diagnosis. Dr. Anthony Fossey, the infectious disease chief at the NIH, was sure to reiterate at the press conference, Nina, is cured of Ebola.